this ivory used to hold pride of place on one of the grandest animals to walk the planet. The market value of its horn stands at several hundred dollars a kilo. Conservation groups say that makes it a lucrative commodity for wildlife traffickers, enough for them to kill an estimated 20,000 elephants in 2015. One of the main reasons the killings continue is the light punishment. I think prosecution is actually, you know, one of the big holes in the big in the picture. Vietnam is doing so much in terms of educating the public, trying to reduce demand, increasing the number of seizures. There's a lot of positive news here, but there are some holes. Pangolins, which are native to Vietnam, are also in high demand. So much so that animal rights groups call them the most trafficked mammals on earth. Rampant poaching has severely depleted their population, with their meat and scales being priced for traditional medicine in neighboring China. And then now it's quickly it's no pangolin in Kufuang National Park anymore. So it's kind of a really sad story for us, and we need to take some of the action. It's one of the reasons why Vietnam is hosting this latest anti-wildlife trafficking conference. Animal rights groups also hope the participation of such high-profile figures as Prince William will further help raise the camping's profile. Such agreement and cooperation, conservationists say, is the key to stopping the increasing slaughter of endangered species. And just to stand by and do nothing is to watch the future of the planet go up in flames. Shweb Hassan, TRT World.